Mm. boyfriend tall, tall man mm -hmm. tall man to help to do it for me we still have our little tree up i see that there's my christmas tree box there my guest tree is still up. i apparently yeah, was uh... a dumbass and threw our christmas tree box <gasps> out you don't do it. and i was don't like do ah, it. i'm so mad at myself <clears throat> But it's small enough that I think we're just gonna we're gonna be able to like put it in the closet up above. Yeah. Where our mm -hmm. like our um water heater is. So I'm just gonna put it up there, put a plastic bag over it. Yeah. Great. I store stuff with my water heater and I just never see it just again. Pray. Just yep. pray. 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 I let go and let God. <laughs> I pray. I pray. And I lay my head back down, and I lift my hands. I'm so excited we're turning this into a Christian to be Christian only podcast. Yours I pray, to be only yours I know. Wait, what's our now? intro? You're my own. What's our new intro? That's not Christian, Adam. It's, that's Mandy Moore. Girl. That's Mandy Moore. I heard that's pray. my Christianity, girl. <laughs> that's my religion. Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore. <laughs> Mandy Moore. I yeah, what is I our what to is our to think of anything? anything. But let's talk. No, we gotta get started. Remember, I have cause... got to talk about we this. got stuff to talk. We're okay. gonna we're gonna well, go. Brenda's remember... desperate to talk about Panera. Okay, remember... okay. Oh, remember... that too. But our I have to know this. Our intro is right, oh our my intro god. Was cold talk. Our intro, our intro was, was cold, coffee. baby. But oh, cold. I guess that oh, was no. That's mics. great. That's cold enough. I guess because I was gonna like do because a... I was gonna do like a. I was gonna or not. I was gonna do. I was gonna ask RJ if there was an intro. I was gonna ask RJ to do it as a youth pastor. In a youth pastor energy. I wouldn't know because I was raised Catholic. <sighs> My question is, Tragic. can we start it with like a like a notification ding? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> no. Bloop. Yeah, like a, just like, and then like multiple, and then it starts getting like faster, like the group chat. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Or no, it's uh the classic. I am literally asking should, for these, these should have iPhone all been... notifications. Like <laughs> yeah. that's all. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, well, uh, <laughs> let's start, let's start the show. Let's start the show. Hello, everyone, our listeners, our besties, and welcome to the show that asks the most important question of the week. Did you read the group chat? <laughs> wow. Flop oh my energy. God. Did you read the group episode. chat, girlies? Okay. Well, hi, We everyone. beg to ask the question that no one has asked before. Have you read the group <laughs> chat? No one in the world. But before we started live, we were singing the most iconic, one of the most iconic movie soundtracks ever, which is A Walk to Remember. A Walk to Remember. Anymore. To remember. Still and, have never um, seen it. Shut up. It's on Tubi. I Get swear Tubi. we watched, we talked about this like Tubi three weeks ago. I don't, probably, but that was, we did. that was a whole podcast ago. Like, that I've moved on. on. Any, any conversation that we have had prior to this day, it's New, gone. Canon. Right. New Canon. Dead. New Canon. Settings Miranda had set up on her computer. Gone. 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 You can't come into my home and touch anything <laughs> technology-wise and expect for me to figure it out. But no, Casey and I, in another group chat last week, mm -hmm. actually maybe multiple, who knows, were talking about soundtracks. And I was watching when I do my walking on my little... Um, um, treadmill with my walking um mm -hmm. computer i watched ice princess with um <gasps> michelle trachtenberg Madonna. michelle trachtenberg Absolutely. and hated Pantier and kim cattrall and i like oh, yeah. so many memories came back from that soundtrack i'm like what is this song from Allie and AJ at the beginning, there's a song at the end by Hayden Panettiere. And I was like, this is literally the soundtrack of my childhood. 
Mm-hmm. And then I started watching the Liz McGuire sa- movie yesterday. And I was like, I played this orchestra suite, like this score. It was like, I don't know. Do you have any, like, what were your favorite movie sounds? Growing up, my sister had the Clueless cassette tape. Oh, and I of course. I wow. played that to death. What's it on, was, what? What's what's on deck um, there? I'm gonna be a supermodel. Super the iconic all by myself. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Josh. Oh my god. Oh. I love Josh. I am totally crazy. I forget. Michelle In love Yeo with Josh. Okay, she Jessica did? just mentioned. Oh yeah. I am so sorry I'm to so our happy. um viewers right now we are oh. we are competing against the golden globes right now counter oh, counter really? programming yeah, counter yeah, programming yeah, yeah, yeah if you want to know what happens to the golden globes but don't want to support the hfpa because they suck suck that's i mean that is this literally is it, the baby. entire Tune opening in monologue right <laughs> was just dragging them Tune casey in. were you gonna say something I was. Jessica just mentioned Josie and the Pussycats. And that is an iconic soundtrack. Iconic movie. It's camp. It's clever. It's funny. And the soundtrack. We've talked about that before, too. Those are the best ones. The original songs from those films. Like, also, I was watching Freaky Friday. Oh. Oh, good. Yes. I'm going to. Our next. Yeah. During our Disneyland During breaks, our we should watch Josie and the Pussycats. We should figure out how to stream it on our TV at the Hojo. Oh, was yes. it like zoomed in somehow? Yeah, yeah, it kept zooming. But we're back. We're how back did it? Baby. Why was that happening? Because um, I was, that, I was missing, that one's I was so good. It. I'm tra- like obviously, but, yeah. But like, walk to remember that was the movie mm-hmm. that like my friend. We watched the movie for a friend's birthday. And I became friends with birthday. my best friend, Wendy, at this birthday party. We, like, connected sophomore year, and we have been friends ever since. And um, she got the soundtrack, and then she re- she she sat on a computer and <gasps> ripped it. Ripped, ripped it. Oh, oh, rip. oh my you God. love those friends. You my, had to have those friends. My sister had, had like, a friends. giant CD burner for her PC that looked like, like it was, like, jelly. Like, it was, like, that purple cu- plastic uh, it was insane mm-hmm. um i feel like i'm not like a like a complete soundtrack person i i i love when movies have music moments so like 50 first dates wouldn't mm. it be ni- yeah. like her crying wouldn't it be nice <laughs> yeah. that's that's so yeah. good plus uh, that's the iconic over the rainbow too the hawaiian over the yes, rainbow the hawaiian at the end. Oh, yeah mm-hmm. um Shannon is watching, and Shannon said Clueless slash Spice World slash Titanic. Wait, 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 Titanic. Wait, I'm sorry. Shannon, as in, like, my Shannon? Yes. Hi, Shannon. Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hi. Titanic is coming back to Titanic theaters. Titanic is coming back to Valentine's theaters February Day. 10th. Oh. For the 25th Why? anniversary. I have been oh. informed by my boyfriend that we are going. <gasps> the 25th anniversary. Oh, and cute. an article literally called it a cult classic. And girl. Girl. <laughs> no, it's not, it girl. It was the most popular movie. It was of literally all time. the, the I will... before <laughs> before Avatar. No. Avatar. Let's go back to when Titanic came out on these two VHS set tapes. Yes. Oh, have yeah. you seen the guy? Yeah. Twin v- have you seen the guy on TikTok who like collects okay. those copies? No. There's a guy who like goes to like um like thrift stores and like garage sales and he'll just find people and people will now send them to him as gifts because they know he it's like a thing but he'll find the like two vhs set like ones and he has a room that's just full of the like of just two- titanic yes just titanic wow. it's wild that's fascinating let me see if i can find it i was yeah. literally just talking to my my friend Lacey and we famously Lacey Chabert it. from Mean Girls? <laughs> of course. Another cult classic. Um, we famously saw yeah. this um, uh, for a birthday party, for her like birthday party. And and then it was just our entire personality. Like once the VHS tape came out, you know, we would mostly watch the first VHS tape. Sure. You know, yeah. Get the highs. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because when... Like, 
Yeah. yeah. Just end it at Act One and be like nine. Yes. And they just had um, a nice time at the boat. It's a nice time. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it in the Discord. Is where I'm gonna drop the link to the Great. TikTok. Well, okay, there's crickets girlies. in there right now because nobody's watching the Golden no. Globes, and I was chatting with myself. <laughs> So thanks to everybody I will say yes for, for the listeners for the watchers our Discord is is popping is popping now. What should the I Dis- put it in the group? Mama, chat? the Disney Channel. Dun, 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 dun. She was busy today. D- oh Disney yeah, we'll talk about busy. we'll talk about her in a little bit. Um, but the first time I watched Titanic was at my grandparents' house, and it was famously three months before we were going on our <gasps> very first no. cruise. Yep, I was seven, eight. Why I would forget. She do that? And the end of it, my sister and I were sobbing in my grandparents' kitchen away, like hugging each other like we are going to die. And that is the last time I probably hugged my sister. So <laughs> have you ever seen have you ever seen the alternate ending of um of Titanic that they filmed but did not end up using? No. This is not this is I, I'm this sounds like a bit. I swear to God it's not a bit. So the uh-huh. alternate ending <laughs> she she has the necklace ring. What is it? Necklace. Yeah, like the heart of the ocean. The heart of the, heart ocean. Of the ocean. Yeah, Clark. And she like we all had our fake ones, right? Uh-huh. She like yeah, throws ones. it Great. back yes. into the ocean and like laughs. And, like Bill Paxton's like, "Why did you do that?" And she's like, <laughs> "Oh, the old lady." Yes, it's wild. I have to. I have to find the I'm, old lady. I'm dropping it, another link. Put it in the Discord. <laughs> Is it the same old lady in that Hoarders episode where they walk in and they're like, oh, my God. And he goes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, I, no. just, I mean, everybody like everybody talks about, like, could they both fit on the door? Could they both fit on the door? Here's my thing. Yeah, they could both fit on the door. But the chances of more water getting on that door and then yes, both of them dying absolutely. from being frozen to death. Like, nobody's talking about that. Also, it's a movie. You know, I mean? you know how movies <laughs> are movies? <laughs> And then there's the conspiracy theory of like, oh, he never existed at all. Blah, blah, blah. That's blah. stupid. That's dumb. Yeah. Why are we erasing history? It's also stupid when people why do are we like, not believe, like why are we not believing women? Yeah. Say that. Okay. Um, they, say less. <laughs> yeah. uh, say Pay more. Less. Say more or less. Um, and yeah, like, no, the Titanic. was popping. Mm-hmm. Titanic was like one of the first movies that I saw in a theater that was like, you know, like three hours long or whatever. And it was just like such a thing. Cut to today, like, you know, this year, this mm-hmm. time, I accidentally went into a movie not knowing that it was three hours long. And I was like, why <gasps> is this movie still going on? What movie? And was it, it wasn't until we left the movie that I I was like, I should have checked the time because my mom was like, I want to see Babylon. And so we go see Babylon. <sighs> and life. it's Babylon. It's yeah. Four minutes shorter it's... than Avatar Way of Water. Avatar. Wow. Avatar. Avatar. Um, Peachy is watching the Golden Globes. Peachy, comma, Esquire. So they are in charge of Peachy, updating you us. you are our I official was correspondent. So whatever award wins, drop it in the chat and we will announce it. And we will announce. Peachy is live from the live. red carpet. Live, live. from Did the red, red carpet at the Golden Globes. Peachy. <laughs> This will get you back, Peachy. No, I thought Casey was going to say something. And she goes, <laughs> Peachy, this will get you back. Because we know how much you love it when we sing. Every night in my dream. Well, then the- I, see I see you. Famously, not one of the hundred. Uh, 200 greatest 200 singers greatest of all time. Of all time. So not Dion did not timer. make the list. The four of us were some of those protesters right outside of Rolling Absolutely. Stone. You may have we, seen yes. us. We drove no. to Rolling Stone's. I had the HQ. French no on my on my poster. <laughs> no. <laughs> and you know, where was where was this guy? Where, where was Sunny Eclipse? Eclipse in the two? He's busy making he's making some sauce. He's busy. Uh, where was where was Sunny Eclipse? Um other movie songs? I mean I my, okay. My, my family loved the bodyguard. Okay. Oh sure. We love oh. the bodyguard. Okay, let's and talk about this absolutely. movie real quick. Not the bodyguard, not the, but I was like, not the bodyguard. Um, I will always love you. I uh, cannot believe. Oh, the Whitney movie. She is singing herself. Like that is not Whitney singing. That is her. I can't even get over Have it. You, Which you is so funny it. because in Bohemian Rhapsody, it, it wasn't no. him singing. But oh, it in, wasn't? No, but in Rocket Man, 
That it was, was Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton singing. Mm. So it's like, Taron. give us... Austin Butler won Best... And now, live from the Golden Globes, we have a winner for Best Actor in a Motion Picture musical Comedy or comedy. Musical. Austin Butler won Austin for Austin Butler Elvis. for Elvis. Thank you. Wow, Thank you, see? Peachy Comma Esquire. Dreams do come true. You can be a Nick Jr., a Nick... Disney? Disney Channel? He was Disney Channel, wasn't he? With Jeff Cameron, mm. right? I passed my time. Um, I don't know. Here Michelle is Visage the soundtrack that was my entire life and still mm-hmm. will continue to be that I will play all the time. And it is the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants soundtrack. Like, I am not kidding that this rewrote my DNA. And, like, it is my moody, my not trauma trauma soundtrack that i play you just like get me through you mm. know okay i'm looking at it now we do have unwritten by natasha yes. Bedingfield. <gasps> yes oh, yeah. but a lot of these are like unknown only but they're known to the film to the film uh, like some of these like aren't even actually available on spotify like um, you sh- if you go to my Spotify playlist, which I will link in the Discord, <laughs> drop it in the Discord. Babes. I'm pretty sure it is my like it's like my bubblegum. I l- a lot of my pop or my playlist in Spotify start with bubblegum because like mm. that is how I bubblegum bubble pop KK. pops. My bubblegum bubblegum bubble gum KK. KK. I think these are like my bubblegum angsty teen. That's for the playlist. rest heads out there. Um, um, but yeah, got, you gotta listen to it. It's great. And like, again, can we just talk about the fact that, um, our gossip girly Blake Lively has looked the exact same for her entire life. Oh, are you, cause you're watching gossip girl, right? You're still, you're still watching. I'm still watching. Gossip How's girl. it going? How's you're, it going? it's just like Netflix. You're still watching. Wow. I'm still watching. Is yeah, it on Netflix? again. Um, it's on HBO Max. HBO Max. HBO Max. Slowly. Um, I'm still on the first season, girly. I'm, oh. I'm doing. I, you know, I don't need to rush. Well, this is back in the day, too, honey. Gossip Girl, that was 2024 20, episodes a season, honey. That was like You're getting peak full TV. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. like 121 episodes, I think. And they're total. 42 minutes long each. And they're 42 minutes long. Uh, maybe but she, she I'll looks re-watch. the same. Mm. just her entire life yeah, i don't even know great. how to yeah famously sister of the traveling pants was her first acting gig and she's never done any acting before that she wow just auditioned randomly, i mean i got it i wouldn't say like blake lively is one of our most talented actresses oh absolutely but i would say not. she's one of one of our actresses she's an act she's she... also a director she is a director of Taylor Swift. Of Taylor Swift's mm. All Too Well to Admit. Why can't I share a Spotify album? Julia Garner. Really? You can. You Who's Julia Garner? Where do I go to share it? Okay, the little three dots. Supporting actress went to Julia Garner, three but dots. I don't know who that is. So. Three dots and a dash. We know Julia Peachy, Garner. Wh- she's, what movie? Um, uh, she's Ozark. She's Ozark. inventing Anna. What was the movie she won, she won the, for? She won the Emmy. Ozark. Oh, she won. She won the TV. She won the TV yeah. sporting actress. Gotcha. Ozark. Because Ozark just had its last season. Is, Is it? Right? Are you on private or something? Do you need to make it public? Oh yeah. This group chat is chaos this, today. I know. Listeners, there are three conversations we, happening. Miranda is asking us for tech advice. <laughs> Miranda, I Sorry. promise you no one cares about your Spotify playlist. You truly. can post it later. Yes. You don't have to do Adam, Adam, I am not talking to you. I am not talking, She's talking to you. I'm on the chat. She's talking to the people. No, okay. I'm in am the I group ever? chat. No. No. <laughs> Okay, let's let's. Peachy said let's this is a mess. <laughs> yeah. Peachy, our strongest supporter, our strongest has waited. supporter has been like, I can't believe I stuck around for this rebrand because now I am listening to three conversations at the same time. No, we're and I'm watching in. the Golden Globes. We're Casey gonna... and I are going to talk. Let's not. Let's take a back seat to the Golden okay. Globes yeah, yeah. for a moment. Okay. Let's. Um, we're going to read it in because Miranda is mad at us. Oh, oh boys. You... I am absolutely was my was this group chat muted? on my end for a day and a half i yes, literally what? when i t- oh, i literally was i was really gonna bring it up because i was like miranda w- has not this is the longest miranda has not talked to adam <laughs> a I didn't day even, and a half hey guess what i didn't even know <laughs> and, and i know didn't, didn't even notice and yeah. i 
no. I know it's so funny because I was I literally was like when you first texted back about about that Instagram post, I was like, okay, Miranda's cooled off now. No. Miranda, would you like to tell us the, the <laughs> I would. I would. why why we, why so, did you put us on mute, which is a in new one a new segment? Sometimes we have to meet the group. I don't know if that's incredibly PC, so we may need to figure that out. Um, but I was talking to Casey in a, another one of my thirteen group chats with Casey, and Casey <clears> was like, "We were t- and we were talking. We brought up Drag Race for some for some reason in this group chat, which did not belong in this group chat, but it was brought up." And Casey said, "Oh yeah, we were talking last night about." Blah, blah, blah. And immediately I said, I knew you all had a chat without me. Period. Wait, what are we talking about? <gasps> oh, we're talking about I Drag knew Race. You had Miranda, a group Miranda, chat Miranda. without. No, Miranda. no. You I said, have, you said I have let my me ex- speak. You okay, said, let fine, me fine, speak. Fine. You I can speak. finish and I have an explanation. Can I, have a, I, have an explanation. Can I ask a clarifying question no, really no. quick? Just a, qu- just a quick question. You're not mad about the wing sauce on your sofa. <laughs> No, but obviously the answer was Adam because Adam <laughs> chews. Adam has the most disrespectful table manners in of anybody I've ever met in my life. This man was maybe three feet away from my couch, but the wing sauce just is ricocheting out of his mouth because he does not know how to chew properly. So it was three days ago where I was like, "What is this on the back of my sofa? Oh my it God. is wing sauce." That Miranda, came out I thought of that's what you were mad about. I thought that's about. what you were mad about. Girl, oh, okay. I am okay. Cl- I have a dog. I'm not going to be mad about wing sauce on my couch. Okay, finish anyway, this, no. and I, I have a, rab- a rabuto. Okay. okay. I don't. So I have been watching Drag Race for at least the past six years. At least. I'm thinking of, yep, six years, at least. Maybe, maybe a season here and there before then in college, whatever. This... This right here, this group chat has of been, ours has been gatekeeping refuses, drag race. No, 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 refuses to talk to me about drag race. I have friends locally that I can talk to about it, but I don't I don't text them. Like I'll talk to them in person about it. Or sometimes they actually invite me over to watch it, which is lovely. Um, but no, so it was really quiet. Friday night during the premiere. What was going on? I was like, okay, well, I could be watching it right now, but mm, your I'll dad was over. No, your dad was over. No, do you understand when my dad comes over? My mom had COVID, so my dad was going crazy and he was texting me. <laughs> sure, was like, which we understand, over. obviously. No, my dad. My dad comes over and literally, Jason and him do not stop speaking to one another. It is a continuous conversation about. Sports. Oh my god! And I'm just sitting there on my phone, like I'm like I. We'll let I'll play with the dogs every now and then. I would have watched it, like. Okay. Oh, did Ollie nope, come over? No, I'm not done. <laughs> Oliver. So when Casey said, when Casey said, "Oh, we were talking about this," I was like, oh, "I knew you. I knew you had a group chat without me." She goes, "Oh yeah, we had just created it, and we even brought you up. I should have said something and added you." So okay, go ahead. What? Okay, I'm gonna go first. I'm Why gonna go first as Miranda's speaking? as Miranda's best friend. I'm going to go first. Okay. Um, questionable. <laughs> I, okay. After the after the after the wing after sauce. This, after the wing after the, sauce. No, after the <laughs> gatekeeping um, of Drag Race. Honestly, um, you kind of dug yourself a hole, especially when you were like, "I'm not currently watching it," so we were not gonna add you to something that you were not watching in the moment. But also, B, I was added not of my own volition. They forced me into the group chat, so please don't be upset with me. Oh Thank God. you. That's all I have to say. So that is my rebuttal. I made this group chat solely because I knew that there that Casey and and the Austin Austin uh, the Austin office of the group chat. <laughs> Sure. was watching it live and so i literally just made it because oh i know we're all watching it live the regional That's literally the regional managers that of the is southern the Division. only reason mm-hmm. now thinking back the optics mm-hmm. of how we have <laughs> gate kept drag race mm-hmm. from me mm-hmm. <laughs> or like we've just refusal to believe because this has gone back oh many God. podcasts so, many podcasts so. ago free lack that is so funny what you just posted in our little group chat by the way <laughs> Oh my god! Stop! Miranda's gonna leave. 
Okay, I'm adding. I'm adding. We're I'm currently adding, adding Miranda. Miranda. It's a pity ad, obviously, but we <laughs> oh all, we will God. be adding Miranda. Also, I, even if I, I wasn't was only... watching live, like it's the first episode, like it's not like it's the finale and you're gonna spoil things for me. Like I had already spoiled. But it you did end up finale. getting spoiled though. Yeah, because I was just ensuring how many contestants. Because I forgot that it was a split it's sixteen. Yeah. Hold on. Anyway, I feel like I was only added because I was in the room with Beefy Prelac. Because I think I think RJ was texting. Because we okay, so we have a group. I no, we yes, you in the Austin office. I have a group chat with the Austin office. And I have a group chat with the Austin office. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. Because we just need... We're, cl we're, we're refreshing the... We're, we're cleaning the air. We're connecting. Because <laughs> the rules of a subgroup chat... Okay, so are, I didn't know there are, sub there are rules. So please. There are rules. So you have your group chat of, let's say, us four. Mm -hmm. But if... The, the Less capital than, G, capital C, the group the chat. Capital G, the capital G, the TM. TM. <laughs> the, the rule is at least three of the four of that group have to have something in common, whether they're talking about like a us subject with matter. Broadway. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll drop it in the chat. You guys drop McDonald's. Like, okay. as long as three of the four people are interested. Yeah, yeah. That's it's fair fine. game. In a lot, in, if Majority it's, rule. If it's really, really heavy, then the three are allowed to create their own subject. Sub sure. Okay. So, for example, like when we were watching Degrassi, like we're not going to flood one group chat with Degrassi when one person's like, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. So we create a Degrassi subject. You know, like, and you know, on the chat right now, uh, literally having this issue with my friend group. So this is a thing that people are. They're seeking our guidance. What if this becomes a group chat etiquette? podcast <gasps> wow the rules, yeah. the rules the rules of the chat the rules of the, rules chat. Of the group chat but yeah so it's yeah we That's, have we have yeah. amended and we the, have fixed miranda is now in the we're sorry group chat yeah i have <laughs> renamed cool. the group chat to the we're sorry group chat <laughs> we're sorry period the youtube apology absolutely yeah. absolutely thank you yeah the reason that a new group chat should start is should be for a specific reason for yeah for something that if we all want we could have all been trying to plan a surprise for you miranda because we know how much yeah. you love surprises yes mm -hmm. exactly yeah. yeah a drag surprise a drag just surprise a, dra a drag performer at your wedding that you didn't know i about. just i just knew a des moines drag performer we'd have to talk about it beforehand <laughs> um <laughs> um because the discord was so quiet this group chat was so quiet and the Austin group chat was so quiet. I was like, hmm. the but audience. then also and you never know because Austin, Adam and RJ, you know, we all, all three of us have in common naps. We all love oh. a good nap. Mm, okay. Love okay. A nap. So we may I'm have allowed... all been napping at the same time. <laughs> a nap at 9 Dur PM. During, during the, we love during to the hear premiere of Jack. Yes. I mean, th that's the thing since we do have the discord we use it as a, a basically like you know our group chat we uh, could make our that, own drag yeah. race i have been it so I if there are people enjoying... if there are people that also live watch drag race we can make a channel that's yeah like, we can make a live. channel during... and it's like yeah. fully like this this will have spoilers we are watching this live <gasps> yeah fun i yeah, look at that idea. a community it's all about building community Miranda. did we have a drag race one you know? no we didn't we just had a tv one so we'll make a drag race one but that's where the Golden Globes chat got confusing. Like, so I put half of the chat in movies and half the chat in TV. Like, per category. Balance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for that apology. I appreciate you all. And I no longer hate the three of you. <laughs> <laughs> I truly this whole time was like, wow, I can't believe she's actually upset about wings. I literally thought it was about this couch the entire time. And I, a like, couch that I this woman has described to me as being like, I don't like my couch. <laughs> and I literally was I've about had my couch to tell. For 10 years. I was literally about to tell Adam, like, you got to Venmo her something or I don't know. Like, she has not talked to you. For Girl, it came years. out with a wet paper towel. Like, <laughs> this is like when Adam at 
my bachelorette party to Walt Disney World got up thought I got upset that he went and spoke to another, another bachelorette, bachelorette party, party at dinner and he like came up to apologize to me later and I was like what are you talking about and he goes oh I thought you were mad that I went up and talked to that other bachelorette party and I was like why would I have been upset about that because that was when Adam was fully customer service fully oh, Adam, I was demented. let me let me plus this experience <gasps> yeah. uh-huh. for you. and I was like girl I don't care um, I only was upset that we were sitting in the Rose room at Be Our Guest because I hate that room famously. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever sat in any other. Oh no, that's not true. We sat in the ballroom for breakfast one time. I think it was, wasn't that. With Remember my mom? that, or was that with us? We had breakfast there, didn't we? We had to have gone quick to service someone. We or did when not. It was yeah. Quick service, quick service. Iconic. Because Iconic. The, bring it back. The bring only... it. Bring it. Bring it back. The only breakfast that I've remembered at Disney that we've done was the Tangled one um, at... Oh, at Trattoria. Trattoria. And then we did Garden Grill once, too, with Chip and Dale's Sticky Bun. We also did the breakfast breakfast at Yacht Club when that reopened. Ale and Compass. Ale and Compass. Compass. Oh, Oh, yes, yes, yes. We did there, yeah. and we also That's did. Uh, I don't know if you and were there, done, but we did Akershus. I did Akershus. Adam and I did a Boma. Oh yeah, we did. Yes, Adam and I have done Adam. a Boma breakfast when we stayed at that Animal was Kingdom great. Lodge. Mm-hmm. That was great. Simba, Simba waffles. Simba waffles. I mean, we're already we're ar- we're already deet deeting. So shall we, shall we deet deet? Mm-hmm. Oh, we should we deet deet today on this Tuesday, January tenth. And you know we what? For be, like leading up to this, I was telling the. TM, the group chat TM, that I was listening to old D podcast episodes, which was Adam and I's Disney podcast. You know, you you knew it, you loved it, you knew it, you loved it. and if it literally know, know. listening to it, it's it felt like I was listening to like old unearthed tapes from like ancient civilization because it was literally <laughs> like, like Adam and I were talking and before Pompeii exploded, yes, before the great fire of the li- the Library of Alexandria, mm-hmm. we were talking about. Wearing masks at Animal Kingdom and Adam asking me, like, how did you feel about wearing a mask all day at the park? And I was like, um, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> I was like, I sound a psycho. Like, crazy. to me, thinking that you guys actually had that podcast at the beginning of the pandemic is wild to me. Like, yeah, I thought I it, rem- it died I way remember. before then. It yeah, was yeah, like yeah. the first time I had experienced the park back. Uh, and it, it, the, the, also the joke of like, uh, of, of Adam being like, I'm an essential worker and in my mm. business or in the the business that I'm in, blah, blah, blah. I have to wear a mask all day and tell people to keep wearing their masks. And I was just like. I was so oh, convinced thanks. that our reach was so great that both of us would get fired from Disney for Absolutely. our podcast. Meanwhile, um, little CPs are now like, spend the day with me as I, I get ready. As for I my, put on ready. my costume. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and like, I'm Tigger so today. Like, <laughs> Yeah, fully. Really, like they're still like like they they have their like phone going off at work. Like they're like doing their little job. Yeah. With yeah. their phone right there. I'm like, this is it's wild. This is chaos. Mama, this is where's the show? I did like oh, so we can we, we should show. talk about okay. the big it's, announcement it's today. Right here today's on the announcement. Phone. So let's DD. Multiple announcements. <laughs> the biggest <laughs> announcement. Which one? Happily. Yeah, which one? Right? I would say that was which the biggest. One? Happily coming which back. What? What? We already knew, we already knew happily was a coming date? back. Ben knew. We didn't know the date, did we not? Right, but also like it's a show that's been here that they're just bringing back Jordan Fisher's voice. I mean, like that. I, I will agree with that. What is bigger than that announcement? I wasn't keeping up though today. I don't know what happened. The biggest announcement today was we got a Tron opening date. Oh, yeah. April oh. April third, April fourth. Fourth. Happily after is the third. Uh, Tron is the fourth. May the fourth be with you. April fourth. Tron be with Tron for you. No, we're gonna talk about these clues that Disney was dropping. Oh I yeah, they were giving favorite. impossible ass. It puzzles. was. It puzzles. did not. It was too much, and I. I'm sorry. Nobody cares that much, but I think that was they knew that, and so they're like, okay, let's drum up a little interest and make it the weirdest way to guess like ever because mm-hmm. everybody was like oh it's either march 21st or april 21st like either and then all of a sudden today 
they gave the clue of four four, and then ten minutes I'm later they were like, "It's it's April fourth. It's I'm April fourth. Like they didn't give a full day. They didn't do anything. They they just announced it. Here's the thing. Here's what's gonna happen at April fourth. It's gonna be open for an hour, and then they're gonna be closed for like three hours, and then they're gonna oh be yeah, open, it'll absolutely and then down. it'll close. And and if it go- that would be wild though. It's literally a lift of another attraction that opened seven years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna but, be virtual queue. Yeah, mm. is it like? Do you know they the can't capac- open something without virtual? Do you know queue the capacity now? of it? No, I, it probably has a good capacity. Those trains are pretty long, and it's not a it's not a very it. long attraction. Yeah, and it's they're like gonna have a locker, si- but they're gonna have a locker system, which I think is yes. really going to mess them up because they've never had a locker system before. And mm-hmm. like, if it's anything like Universal's, I I hope it's not because oh, right, free lap. It was my first time coming to Universal, mm-hmm. and they there was no instructions on how to use the locker no, system. No, absolutely. They're just like, not. oh, it's over there. It's over there. It's I'm over like, there. Good what, luck. Am I, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. So then on and Hagrid, I thought I had to put, yeah, I had to put everything in there, and then I was like, oh, I can actually have my phone during this queue that I had to wait two and a half mm. hours for. Yeah, I didn't yep. know that. Um, but... I'd like to pause the conversation real quick because Friedrich has something to say. Miranda, Be- because this is your fault. Miranda, when we left Chives, packed Friedrich's little baggie with every with toy that Winnie doesn't like. During the trip, Friedrich fell in love with a <laughs> specific toy, probably because, you know, he, he was raised in Florida and so really has a connection with flamingos. Pink flamingos. This, Ad, I literally, I told Adam, I was like, I'm going to mail this flamingo back to Miranda <laughs> and force her to get it like signed. So she has to accept the package back because it is the loudest squeaker. That's well, that's why I gave it to him because it was the only like one of the only toys he played with <laughs> while he was visiting. So much so that our dog nanny, Megan, had to keep throwing it into the basement and shutting the basement door so he would leave it alone. This look is this is oh. the flamingo. She's, oh, look at her! Oh. Le- look at her leg, mom. Her boots are falling wow. off. Her boots are falling uh-huh. off. Yes, she, no wing, wingless. Oh, look at them! Will you throw it for him, please? Oh, get it, Eddie. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. That usually, was, that usually it. catches it. <laughs> usually, it sure. Ah. Uh. Anyway, okay. Back Thanks to, for back to DD. But anyway, so we were like, "Oh, great! Those two announcements." Also, Easter weekend. What? Are, what are you doing? Oh, is that Easter weekend? It is Easter April eighth. April eighth is Easter. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, Mom, because they crazy. they gotta get people watching the Azalea Maids. They you like, you gotta, gotta get them out there. They're like, we need an audience. We need an audience. Um, and then later in the afternoon, more, 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 more. We got. Disneyland. Why today? Their... Why were they announcing stuff today? This, that's the thing about Disney with announcements. They're like, mm, how about this Tuesday? <laughs> like it out of nowhere. Not, it does not make sense. And the fact that they staggered them all was really frustrating. Maybe, maybe to since um, Universal opened up like AP preview booking for uh, Nintendo Nintendo World oh. maybe yesterday so maybe they're like Perhaps. let's get And I feel like I've been seeing a lot more Nintendo stuff because because yeah it is coming up yeah. soon. Yeah. That makes sense. But they but announced still, yeah. Disneyland park hopping time is moving from 1 p.m. to 11 a.m. Um they announced that at Walt Disney World and I forget there was something else with Disneyland. I wait, 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 wait. That's the only you time get um, park free. Hop? Yeah, free yeah. resort park parking. Uh, well, no, no. no. At so Walt- at Disneyland yeah. at Disneyland, so you can park and that's, now. That Disneyland's the Disneyland. one in Florida. No, so back. that's gonna be in Anaheim, California. Um, <laughs> you can park up at 11 a.m. And also, every attraction that has oh, there. Um, photos, you can get for free. At Disneyland now, like the mobile version, like you can, mm. you can get a free download of it. So if you go on, you know, a ride that has a photo, yeah. I'm like I can't even think of a ride that has Space Mountain, In- Incredicoaster, Incredicoaster, um, Splash. and then at Walt Disney World they announced that because we were like, oh, okay, they announced that for park hopping at Disneyland. What about Walt Disney World? Because there's famously 2 p.m. Oh, don't fret if you're an 
annual pass holder after 2 p.m you don't have to make park reservations anymore so if you wanted to go to epcot for the evening just go just go go no only during the week or wait magic uh, King- saturday sundays magic kingdom you have to how is it both to. still less confusing and more it's confusing so what confusing. is happening oh my and then God. they announced they are removing the resort parking fee for guests which they only implemented like five years ago 2018 which, okay mm-hmm. which you could you, you could scam your way out of not paying for that absolutely and if so, you like, want to learn like, that, they even... say are you parking a car absolutely not i have heard and if you and if you want the tips it's on club level, baby. <laughs> we'll give you the tips on club level. I've heard it's. $5. I've heard it got stricter. <laughs> I've heard that they would track if you like tapped your band into, like if you were like Ubering in and the Uber driver was like, just tap. Can you tap your band to let me in or whatever on that on the like that entrance? That then they would associate it to your room and they'd be like, oh, they're using a car. They have a car on property. So people had been like charged for parking when they actually just like let the uber in basically does that make sense what i'm saying yeah that makes sense but i don't believe it it's never okay. happened to me never um, happened to me never, never happened to me so it's not it's not true, not true. it's not true anecdotal just kidding. i'm sure it is um and then they announced um oh freelax that... says if you tap your magic band it'll auto charge you That's, well yes. freelax said it well no, <laughs> not some um, fool online but f- john freelack but if you press what button and say if you're getting what on? button? What button? Push the button. Push. No. Say you're getting off. No oh, the like the called for okay, assistance button. Push on my buttons, baby. No, then you might as well just talk to the security guard then. Unless the line is forever long like you're at pop. Um, pop, pop. And then the last Pizza. update was that if you purchase Genie Plus, you get photo pass at, ah. at um, Walt Disney World. Oh, you did it before? Because Disneyland always had it. Disneyland always had it, which was very confusing. Walt Disney World did not. Walt Disney World, you could do like the filters and stuff, but you yes. never got mm. to download the, the Kate photo. Castle like, filter. Why are we? Why are we making oh, these? Oh, the button. Freelike is saying if you press the little call button on the speaker tap or speaker, you say hi. I'm dropping someone off. Oh well, that's just silly. I would that's just, just talk, talk to, to the, the security, security guard. guard. Mm-hmm. Um, but then yeah, there was that so. story from that one podcast, the right episode. You know, what, we don't need to talk about it. Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about, Casey? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, which is also it wild. was like it was like after midnight though. So I think that's why they're being like that. There is no no no. We're not gonna let that happen. Okay. There's no no. Okay. No. Needless okay. to sure. say, okay. needless to say, I have booked a trip to Walt Disney World for the end of April. Okay. Mm. Casey, you know I could still I have the option to renew my pass at a at a mere four fifty six dollars a month for pirate I'm pass. Just saying, Florida resi, famous Florida resident, <laughs> we famous, famous Florida, Florida resident. resident. Okay. We could go can too I, at the end I of April. Can I talk about? I need no, to just mention a little a little weird thing that happened with my scamming. Uh oh, she got caught. She got Listen. caught. Listen to this. So I you I um was able to renew my pass last year okay. as a Florida resident on the app. You no longer had to go to the gates. You could just do it on the app. And um so what I did was is I gave um whenever I was like filling out all my stuff, I put my address as a man that I knew <gasps> and I had his address in Florida. Oh dear. I don't know why I used his address. I think just cause I had it and I was like, it doesn't matter anyway. And like we're on good terms. So it wouldn't be a big deal or anything. And he's not associated with Disney in any way. Um, so then one day, very recently, like in the last couple months, he texts me and he said, Hey, This is so strange, and I don't know what happened, but I started getting mail for you. And I'm thinking it's, like, from Disney. No. It is from the the credit card that I used to get my – to renew my pass. 
they have the credit card has changed my ad my billing address to his address and they are sending him mail like envelopes like from the credit card company like with like oh here's like your privacy statement, yeah pre-approval blah blah blah. blah 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 like but they but they changed like i go i went into my credit card to like check because like my credit card was getting declined mm -hmm. and uh. it was because i had the wrong billing zip code because it was it somehow had changed over to Florida and I did not change it in there. Like oh, I had just shady. put like, I think I put my billing address as my regular one. And then my shipping address as this fake Florida resident. And he was mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's fine. He's like, I'm moving out of there though. So I just wanted to let you know. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing because like, this is like one of those things like he'll never get a piece of mail for me. Mm. And my credit card changed the address Change to his. That's crazy. Yeah, that's. So wow. if you're gonna if you're gonna use someone's um, address, make sure it's someone that you know, and that maybe you haven't. Um, maybe a member of a group chat of yours, with. perhaps. Maybe a family like, member. Maybe someone in the, in the villages. You know, right. someone with a sure. someone your with great aunt Tessie in the villages. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was so strange. But yeah, but I that's can crazy. I can renew. I can renew, but I'll I'll need to put someone's new address. Maybe I'll. I've maybe got a I'll, few memorized. Got, if you I'll need. phone a friend. You see you. Yeah, there is. There is. I think we have a few options. You have a, a, a few options. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. You know people in Florida? Only Casey? like one or two. Yeah. Not any that would pick me up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Not until someone hey. gets their learner's permit, maybe. In yeah, when is Casey? Years. When is Casey Way getting their own Magical Express? Yes, when's yeah. that? When that's Vasey Way, Vasey Way. That wasn't one of the Vasey announcements Way. today from Casey. Um, Casey oh, Land. Yeah. P Casey Way PR didn't uh, say any announcements about any development. Casey Way. Casey Way. Way. No. Way. 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 But no, so I gave I gave you my dates. You are more than welcome. Okay, yeah, and welcome. and if you would like to join this group trip, um, pay us, and we'll we'll and we'll tell you <laughs> when us. the dates are, and we'll tell you when when the trip is. Yep. Mar Before even though Miranda did. already said it's definitely no, like the your end of April. like your reservation, like your reservation number, the confirmation, yeah, number confirmation, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, I literally just have my flights booked. I don't mm. have anything else at this moment. Um. But no, if you're going to Walt Disney World, obviously you should contact me to book your trip. Like I don't know how I, I've never said that, but like you should. But I, yeah, you and should. like, but only if you're anything. only if you're staying. On I did have to explain. It's very. I, oh yeah, I can't book you if you're not staying on property. Did someone? Did someone? Did someone reach out to you? I mean, like I've had people reach out to me. <laughs> it was no, way like too recent. vague. <laughs> Did so did anyone I, ever talk to did you? Did our friend who is having a wedding coming up at Disney, did they reach out to you about getting their family members? Oh. Not, not in my inbox. Okay, okay, okay. Currently. Okay. Though I am known to ha get a lot of spam to that wow. email, and so some things get filtered that shouldn't. But I okay. usually check that pretty often. I can also just tell her to DM you and then. That works as well. But it was funny because I kind of had to like explain like, Cause she, cause he, she was like, I don't understand how you don't pay extra to get, to do a travel plan. Because Disney keeps that money. The, with the package that you purchase, there is a built in built commission. In. Yeah. So if you book through Disney, Disney will just keep it. But mm -hmm. if you book it through an agent, it costs you the same amount, but, that but the agency the gets the money yeah, and then and you I was... don't pay for the travel agent to help because then they get some sort yeah. of mission. And then I was trying and I was telling her too that like because of, because it's also an incentive to be like you can plan for a whole week, you can plan for multiple people, you can plan all these different experiences because it's like there's already someone that's handling it. So like yeah. it it's just like it makes a person like want to like do more. So it's still a win for for everyone. I Except for the that. person who's spending <laughs> lots of money. Right. But, sure, but they're choosing but, you know, to do that. Yeah, exactly. Mhm. Mm yeah, and like any like rate that you can look up on the computer, your travel agent is going to tell you that exact same rate. Mm -hmm. Unless they found a better one that you're Unless silly little a better one. Mm -hmm. silly little self mm -hmm. didn't find. Yeah. 
And you know what? The beds on 192 are just as comfy. Think about that. They're not as good. They're not as good. They're not. They're also no. best oh, bug those ridden. Disney bu- beds are so nice. I know. Well, honestly, even the modern on the Disney level of the resort. Beds, the Disney cruise beds. Oh, are the worth Disney that. cruise beds. Oh, I nice. will say, I do remember, like, I remember, like, experiencing, like, having doing the different levels of of resorts, and then any time we were back at a value, it, it would be like, oh my god, it is. The last time I stayed at a value was <laughs> after your wedding. <laughs> and I was like, I am never I am staying never... in a value resort. You can feel the coils. Because once you feel the soft sheets, the awesome. mattress, and back when I was still working at WDI, like we would, they would always be like, warehouse sale of the mattresses. You can buy the mattresses from the hotel. With, didn't like, you the have group one? Rate. No, we no, didn't we did end not up doing one. it. Oh, but there was like an option. Like you could buy all of those. Like a rate. All those yeah. used mattresses. <laughs> Yeah, um, as someone that's used a lot of those mattresses, I'd say maybe don't. <laughs> There's know. that. There's that. No, I don't think they were used. Like they were like you can buy from the manufacturer and say like I am a Disney employee. Oh, oh okay. okay. Then go okay. ahead. Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. Great. Because yeah. they're sup. Because like sup. most places won't take mattresses, like a Goodwill, like a donation place, yeah. they don't take the no. mattresses. Yeah, uh, so we we just dropped a lot of stuff to our brown elephant here which is like the lgbtq Thrifts, you know blah 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 lgbtq goodwill basically of chicago and it was i was i was, i don't know why i was so stressed out about because i was like they're not gonna accept this or that oh they were literally just like yep just drop them off here and then we'll sort it out oh great so it's like yeah like i'm dropping off just take whatever and literally throw what you don't want throw it away please just yeah put it in a big dumpster i don't care mm-hmm. yeah. get gone we also did a lot of shopping last weekend, and we uh, we thrifted a lot at Buffalo Exchange too. That was very good. Nice. Oh, nice. Yes, but we did we did go shopping. We did end up at a mall. What and- mall? Oh my god! <laughs> oh. You went my to like a mall. God. We went to a we mall went to because a mall. there was like a K-pop pop-up on instagram that was like we're if you buy albums at the store for this weekend only you get an official photo card for each album you buy and for k-pop <laughs> fans that's that's honey, that's, that's gold mama butter. that is right. that is clutch okay so we go to this mall in i don't know where it's like east of i believe skokie, it was morton basically. grove yeah it was like uh oh. west of skokie west of skokie um and all the lights in the parking lot were off the thank, only thank you shannon the only stores that were open in this mall was the Ulta that was exterior. <laughs> it's like outside. Oh, it's yes. a, you can connect inside and outside. Yes, yes. yes. So she's she's thriving. She's, she's thriving. doing great. A Bath and Body Works, which felt like I was in the middle of Mall at Millennia. Like it was like fully busy. Fully like open. Everyone was going. The person at the front, like, hi, welcome to Bath and Body Like, Yes. Full Bath As and Body As if they works. were just like a nothing normal. Nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. And then this little Korean health Beauty store, store that was selling. That was selling K-pop albums. K-pop albums. Every other Three? store. Were in a mall. This in a mall. I'm, like we're a, not even discussing like a strip mall. Like a mall. With three anchor department stores that were all closed. Yeah. And on the directory, it would say like former Sears. Former Sears on the directory. <laughs> former was, Sears. Right. And, and I, I was like, this is dark, sad advice. It was... I am so... I Adam am not, was so unner... Like, he was so like... It I, felt... It felt like when people do the thing where they're like, look at these pictures of what it was like living in USSR before the Berlin Wall <laughs> fell and and it became Russia. Like, that's what I felt like I was living in. I was so terrified for my life. Just like, it has a similar energy to like when you're walking through, those of us are the former cast members we know, when you're walking through like Disney, like after hours and it's like, bare and desolate mm-hmm. but it is intrinsically a place that is supposed to be filled with people. people like that is the point of these spaces and they are public spaces public private spaces and so when there's no one in there and everything is like dark and shuttered and like you can tell because like obviously some of these like iconic places that were in malls and like removed they had very specific 
designs for the exterior of the store. Uh-huh. So, Mama, you know when it's an Abercrombie or it used to be an Abercrombie and Fitch. Hollister. You know yeah. when it was the Disney store because it had the old tiling yes. with the like rounded windows. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is cursed energy <laughs> like truly insidious vibes yeah coming i was out of like there is a there is a did we drop 120 dollars at the k-pop store we did of course. but we're supporting local local business local business absolutely sure you're straight yeah. up urban exploring here i mean you know? i should have had my little gopro on my yes. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this used to be uh-huh you, you're but there, to were get but there were also <laughs> still like the middle of the mall vendors Oh, the they kiosks. were still kiosks. going. The kiosks were going. And the guy, oh. like, the guy was like, can I straighten your hair? And I was like, I what <laughs> are we doing? There is no oh. one here. First of all, it's 8 p.m. on, like, a Saturday night. Like, why, why, if the mall is already dead, why is it still open? Like, what? <laughs> I can't begin to explain how horrible it was. I hated it. I hated every second about it. Ugh. The that food court really only had like, like a China. They had Express. no. They had no chains. So they we're, were, all we're just down to like China mom Express. and pop China China walk China three. walk China walk, yeah. China walk three. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. It was so scary. It was wow. Bad. But I got my photo card. Liminal spaces are what we. Call but that's them. what I was saying. Like Adam, Adam and I were talking because like. I, Malls are not it anymore. Malls are not it, but then what do you do? You it costs so much money to demolish a huge building like a mall like that. Right. So they're trying yeah. to sell they're co- they're constantly just trying to sell stores again, but then it's like But malls because of their design, because of their intrinsic like you're supposed to walk through them and go from place to place and you're supposed to like roam around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not good like you can't convert them into office space either. Yeah. Because that's yeah. also like bizarre and strange. Yeah. Like, right. it's. Vi- <coughs> but speaking of just like stores in general, that you're like, oh, what? I don't understand. I was going to a Whole Foods the other day, and it's like a strip mall. So there's like, oh, the mm. World Market is there. Mm. There's a Marshalls there. Like your typical strip mall. Sure, sure, sure. And then I saw a sign for something that was brand new that just went up. Buckle. Just Did you opened say brand in the year twenty twenty three. Opened. Bu- she's here. making a comeback. Buckle is Buckle. coming back. And then I was like, Buckle's the one that you used to work for that does commission, right? Mm, you work on commission, right? Yeah, uh, for three months. Um, I worked at Buckle. Did you make yeah. a single dollar? I am absolutely. You, you were a I absolutely. You were you were a queen. I worked in commission in all of my jobs in high school. The tanning salon, I worked off commission. Like, How does that make sense? <laughs> what do you mean? Working How does oh, the tanning... Tanning? Tanning packages, tanning lotion. Uh, like, did oh, I made, goggles. I made great, great cash at that tanning salon. My and mom, that was the thing, yeah, with tanning salons, is mm-hmm. that is that you got guilt tripped by the cute girl that was like, yeah, you should really try this lotion. It's it's got a tingle to it. It's really gonna get you where you want to go. It makes you so. Or, dark. Look at me. <laughs> or in Miranda's case, the girl at the front. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Drop it. She chat. Shout out to chat. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Anyway, so I hope she's doing fine because there's also like still a buckle at the mall. Like that buckle is still alive at the mall. That is. Five miles away from it. So. I think I think the buckle in South Bend is still, still clinging to. Yeah, it's she's buckled. still buckled. She's still she's buckled. buckled. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Buckled. Good for her. What is what is through. what is the iconic mall store you think of when you think of a mall? Like from our Orange Julius. I know it's not a store, but I I only equate Orange Julius to malls. That seems so eighties. I me. think of like yeah. Spencer's Gifts. Ooh, oh, that's a really a good one. Oh, a mall. Yeah. Spencer's. I went to our outlet mall for the first time just a couple weeks ago. Des Moines has an outlet mall, and I've never been to it. And it was it was okay. Claire's Croc is stores mine. stores are always in a... Oh, mall. yeah. Claire's, Claire's. Claire's is big mall energy. It's, like, you... so specific because it's, like, not design... They don't have, like, a... They have a very specific thing that they sell and that they offer, the products they offer, whatever... But it's not like you go in there, you're like, oh, it's like a nice experience, too. Like, it's just like a very white 
Mm. Uh, fluorescent light bulbs, mm. yeah. very mm. s- normal, like yeah. just the wire hanger things. Laura and Shannon like, on the chat say hot to be, topic too. They're not trying to be aesthetic to the to the eight year old girlies that are in there. No, they are just like here is some slop, take it or leave it. Right here's a here's, a here's a here's, here's a pink slime. and orange flower. Call it a day. Here's I, a squishmallow. Uh, <laughs> listen, and they would gladly take it. I think mm-hmm. of Hollister, but specifically Hollister in 2004. Yeah, that was, I mean, yeah. I was peak Hollister in 2004. Rugby, I was, rugby, rugby I was stripes. a senior in high school and I had a job Almost. so I could afford to go to Hollister and they sold an XL so I could get that. Mm. Um, so I was very excited. Not everything was an XL though. So when you found one of the Hollister shirts that did go up to an XL because they did not like to go past large, yeah. you grab it. You got you it. You grab it and you wear it. The number it, of times our- I applied to Hollister. The number. Really? I mean, really? Tr- tr- the number of times. That's, oh. good. That's so shocking to me. I, l- I all only he wore. wore Hollister he wore Hollister in, in high school. And American Eagle. Did oh, you did, did you do the double. double up polo like were you? Oh, oh. I didn't. I didn't. I did oh, not double up. Polo. I I wore the collar up, but I didn't double them. I also did the collar up, but I never did the double. Were you a frosted tips boy? No. Oh, that's mom, shocking. I feel like you should try it. Like right now. Sure. Yeah. Or okay, do let's... highlights or do highlights. I want to go bleach that baby. Go, wait, I want to go ash blonde. Would that look good? Would I look stupid? No. Who cares? I don't think like so. A, like cares? a like right. a just you've a already cool been, blonde. A you've already blonde. colored your yeah, hair purple I had, I and was, then it turned green. So at this well, point, like literally, I was honey blonde, <laughs> like in Florida. That was like the color I was like sticking with pretty yeah, much. Yeah, and people thought yeah. it was like your natural color too. Which that then was you tried nuts. To, like go like white white. I yeah. toward the end I started bleaching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to do like a. I don't know, or like a silver. I don't know. Like I want to do something. Like a Ooh. yeah, just like a very like. I want to look like Jack cool. Frost from Rise of the Guardians. That's I, th- th- when I think of that film and I see Jack Frost, I think, think of, of Adam. And yeah. every time, changed my life. God, well, I forget about that movie. We watched it's a it. very good movie. We watched it at the Evanston uh, AMC. Remember? We did. It's true. Back in college, mm-hmm. I, I would wait until it gets to be polo. spring, mm-hmm. summer. The checks. Like yeah, let's. For the winter let's right now. Oh, be freed is a big sure. double polo energy person for mm-hmm. sure. My um, still to this day. My first roommate in college, which was like a random pick, you know. Yeah. Um, lucky seat, you know, just they pick someone for me. Mm-hmm. Um, she was big into the Aeropostale um, polos, mm-hmm. and she had every single color. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say something controversial. Aeropostale was the original Sheen because their clothes were bad. (laughs) They They were pumping them out. Babe is still up and running. (laughs) Well, in Des Moines, I have no doubt. that Des Moines, she is there. (laughs) And I don't threaten that they're going out of business, but the one in Mississippi. It's always always out of business. Up to 70% off. Everything (laughs) must go. No, babe. You're still there. See, I would have had a polo in every color because that was my uniform in high school. Oh, um, yeah. But you couldn't have a, we couldn't have logos. Have um, mm. um, and then my senior year is when they were like, oh, no, we're going to make the polos for you. Mm. That you have. <sighs> I remember at the they time, wanted that. I had, I, in middle school, I went, we had like a, we had like a traditional uniform of like the khakis or the blue pants and then mm-hmm. polos or whatever. And then in high school, we were obviously so excited that we could wear our own clothes again. So it was like, whatever. And now looking back, I was like, it was so nice. Even we're working at Disney, it was so nice that the clothes were like, you were told what to wear. So it just like, you didn't have to think about it ever, <laughs> honestly. So. No, I get it. Oh, well. Um, But no, I didn't, I didn't like that. It wasn't fun. Because yeah, it was a lot of like, especially when I had to wear like the plaid in middle school and mm-hmm. elementary oh, yeah. school. Like. We, it was always like we're going to garage sales looking for that same plaid that we can have. Mm. I'm like, yeah, exciting. Um, Charlotte My Bruce. school went. Oh. Do you remember Charlotte Roos? Oh, oh yeah, Charlotte I remember Miss Roos. Yeah, Libby yeah. Lou. Oh, I don't know Libby Lou. Libby Lou was a little bit younger than us. 
Casey, I think, but it was like mm-hmm. always in a department store, and it was like, it was like that Josie and the Pussycats. <gasps> Wet era. seal. Wet oh. seal. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was like, more Reeses. Still, oh, she's, Maurice. She's still up and going. Um, I remember distinctly being like 17 years old when they opened when American e- Eagle, Eagle opened Airy, like the oh. like the bra oh. store or whatever. Uh huh. And all the girls were like, "Oh my god, Airy bra! They're so oh my god, they're so comfortable!" Ah, oh, and I was like, "What is this place?" Anyway, it was wild. There was a Airy. It was just like the they they're like, oh, the stuff that we were basically almost already selling at, you know, um, what's it called? American Eagle. Was American Eagle. Yeah. They just moved over there. The undies, mm-hmm. the little bras. They were the, undies. There. They called them undies there. But Victoria's Secret called them panties. Oh. Like that was the I, big I boy think the, shorts. I think the word panties is so underrated. It is so funny. It's so <laughs> panties. Panties. Oh, right. Beefreed wants us to drop our mall jobs real quick. I, um, famously, I was just sending this to Mary Kate today. <laughs> this is me at the Chocolate Connection. There's Mary Kate. This the one, Chocolate Connection. We became friends. For some reason, I think we all got to go on our break together, and it was the biggest. Who was deal. running the store? Who Casey, knows? You are so dark. Um, that's because I was tanning mama. Oh, Look at my she was giving that commission she to the, the, the cute girl, girl at the front desk. What is this? This what is me is this? at the, this is, um, the year of 2004, Damn. um, chocolate connection little, was, Oh, I that's gra- not it. I was graduating. But yeah, just, so I, so this okay. is for my scrapbook. I sent it to Mary Kate today, cute. um, because I was like, well, I have to send this to her, but yeah. Um, chocolate connection, candy store, bulk candy. Oh, yeah. It was the best. Love I I did not have one, but if I would have one, I probably would have worked at like a ice cream store as well. Like I would, mm. I would have fully been Cold Stone. You would have worked Queen. at Annie Ann's in a minute, <gasps> in a <gasps> second. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got my grandpa a kit, a kit one time for Christmas. <laughs> Amazing. So uh, Miranda's gonna take ten minutes. So Casey, what was yours? I just said chocolate connection. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you never and, worked retail, retail, like proper retail, just not in a mall. Um, never in a mall. No, um, I worked at a Target, but that's that wasn't in a mall. That's not those are mall. the fact that there are some malls in America now that the department store is Target. Yeah. What? Why? Yes. Yeah, there's it's one in L.A. <laughs> what? Uh, um, on the <laughs> chat, uh, Laura worked at Tilly's, Zoomies, and Pack Sun. Uh, Kate, oh, I love on Mar. Kate Sorry. worked at the Sears jewelry counter. <gasps> Sears oh, IP. Wow, uh, that's elegant. And Peachy class. had worked at an, a bakery and a restaurant at a mall. Uh, B Freed worked at the Sharper Image, and then bounced to um, the Apple Store. Um, I never Von worked at a mall. Mar. Oh, Freelack worked at Gap. That I worked. I worked at a Barnes and Noble that was not in a mall, but that's like the closest I've ever worked to a mall type job. Mm -hmm. Um, and my dream mall job, I will just tell you, would be the photographer at a JCPenney. Oh my God. Oh God. You know, the malls in the Philippines, like we still have like, like photo studios. They're called Great Image. That's where we got our family photos. That's best. Whatever. Um, but it's full. It's like same. It's like the same gig you go in there's you pick do you want the cloudy background do you want the, the gray the gray i've seen tiktoks you know who, of yeah. people going and just going doing and a bit doing yeah ironically yeah, yeah. yeah you know who has that job goofy <laughs> that's a that's goofy's job <laughs> oh yeah big goofy energy yeah. big goofy energy just no, like goofy just movie, like that was his job oh. oh look at adam's face look at adam's face anyway yeah look adam didn't face. know that because... look at me dropping knowledge um because you've never <laughs> seen a goofy movie get out adam i get it daddy issues whatever <laughs> it's true it's true yeah you better tw okay you got yeah, trigger right. warning okay <sighs> Um, All right. Anyway, okay. okay. Miranda, give I me your worked, resume. I worked at the Buckle my uh, my senior year of high school. She buckled in, in senior year. Yep. Uh, I buckled in senior year, and then my next 
It wasn't a mall. I worked at a Victoria's Secret, but it was the flagship Victoria's Secret on Michigan Avenue. Not a mall. It was a standalone. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my next mall was <laughs> – Shannon's still in the chat – was at Francesca's at Water Tower Place in Chicago. Oh, Another talk cursed, about a talk about a dead mall. A cursed dead mall. My God. Uh, yeah, that's a sad dead mall. But um, no, this I love taking my breaks at Water Tower Place. Like it was iconic. Oh, and there she is in the chat. I'd so like. And it was my boss. She hired me on the spot. I'd, I walked in with my grandparents. I was like, "Are you hiring?" And she goes, "When can you interview?" <laughs> I'd like to amend my dream job. I would also, if I can't do what I said earlier, I would work at an American girl that the American girl store oh, at water. Tower. Cafe. I would. Yeah. I would be like a server and like ask the dolls like, and what would you like to drink? Oh yeah. And Oh, the moms would eat it. <laughs> oh, and they would be. Oh, they would. Uh-huh. And I'd know all their names too. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. obviously. Uh, I want that new Broadway girl. I want Oh her. yes. Or it could be fun. Like you could be like, and BFA girl. like fully yes. know all the, all the dolls. So you could be like, can't the same for you. Another Shirley Temple, you know, like just fully like create a universe of like uh, the history, the history. What do they order? Listen, the time is still there. It's still, it's still, it's still there. there. It's still there. Adam. The opportunity. Could, it's true. Yeah. I'm sure if you walked in today and asked, I could quit. Hiring, I could quit with like, Mark tomorrow. <laughs> not even quit. You just want to like, hey, I just want to work Weekend. one Weekend. four one hour shift. Four hour yeah, shift. just train me so I can work one four hour shift. I would period. like to work brunch um, as oh long as I can. The American BYO Girl Mimosa. brunch. Could you yeah. imagine? Because they serve alcohol at that brunch. Don't they, they sure do. The- they do. Yeah. It's they true. Do? Yes, they do. <gasps> Yeah. Because people go going. now, like exactly. millennials, Gen Z, they're going. Uh-huh. The they're Gen Z they're bringing the going. influencers in. Yes, they're they like, are. bring them up, oh make a TikTok, God. do it. I will say, I think one of my fa- one of my favorite things about malls growing up was Dippin' Dots. I oh. went crazy oh. for Dippin' Dots. I don't know why. Dots. The novelty, I think, obviously. The novelty. It, yeah. it was never a mall thing for us. It was always like a sports. It was oh. like at the baseball game. Oh, you can get like at the cup. arenas. Oh. Like they had this. Yeah, actually, that's not true. But we it had it. We had it in our mall. Oh, mm. so expensive. We that's had it in our mall. How is it? But I think it was like when it was like when it crashed, basically, because they crashed. If you don't know the story of Dippin' Dots, they basically expanded to the point that they weren't sustainable anymore. And then they like folded in on themselves. So I think we got the Dippin' Dots. That was probably we were the Dippin' Dots that closed the entire thing. Yeah. So <laughs> you're welcome. I was. I, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, I always got the banana split. Oh, the oh, banana the split banana was split. so good. It was truly the banana like, split. It was truly like, how did science create this? Like, uh-huh. they, uh-huh. it, it was banana. science. It was, it was banana science. dot. The chocolate when we, dot. When the we, dot. when the we, dot. as a culture, got rid of Dippin' Dots, that's when I knew we would not survive the pandemic because we stopped believing in science when Dippin' Dots left. Absolutely. Mm, and and that's that. truth. <laughs> and that's and that's in that this, on that. In this thesis, I will. Yeah. <laughs> but you can go to like the even like the gas station or like Walmart and get like the off brand yeah. dip and dots. Mm-hmm. And they have a an off brand dip and dot. Yeah. Dop and dop. Doop and doots. Dop and dips. Doop and dips. <laughs> Wait, they also have banana split? Mm hmm. Dop and bops. I always Sonic. got the cookies and cream. That was really oh, good. That's a, that's also a solid option. Mm-hmm. It's um they're called itty bit. <laughs> the off-brand mm. Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dips. Little bit. Dippin' Dog. Little Dippin', Dippin Dog. This ha- is a Z. <laughs> they, should oh, do a, they should do a Dippin' Dots style thing, but treat it like every every flavor of jelly beans and do like um, crazy flavors. Earwax. <laughs> oh. Yes. Uh, uh, not that. No. Tr- yeah. <laughs> Or go Turnips. full gourmet. Like, give me the what is the goat cheese and tart cherry? What well, RJ, oh. RJ's idea? This is literally what RJ is describing is the everlasting gobstopper from Willy Wonka, oh, the one where it cycles see. through meals. Yeah. RJ would I, lose his also mind iconic. if, if uh, that absolutely. was real. Buy it. If we just dropped in the it. chat where we, you can buy a bulk bag of the banana split. <sighs> um, dip and dots. And if you jo- put up a GoFundMe, <laughs> well, um, wait, how much is it? Club level. 70 it's bucks. Like 70, 70 bucks. Okay. Well, so that'll be well, our New Year's. That'll be our, <laughs> that's our, goal, that's that's our goal. goal. That's our Patreon goal. That if we get up to $75 a month, <laughs> we can gift a bag of you banana can watch split us. bulk bag. How big is the bag, Casey? Uh, 
gift it to us. How big? How gift it to someone else? How big is it? How well, big is that bag? How big um, is that? Chris, how big how, is that bag? How big is that bag? Wait, we, we uh, have a we have a mall story, Adam. If you want to read that, um, that's Kate. My Sears jewelry, yeah. Kate says my Sears jewelry manager told people for an entire week that certain jewelry purchases raised money for the Susan G. Coma Foundation because she annoyed with the Susan. G. Komen Foundation was. Oh, no. Oh, breast cancer oh, awareness. Wow, wow. Good support. Um, it, whenever on serving size, it says that the bulk bag includes a bulk bag of Divin Dots plus 30 plastic spoons and 30 plastic cups. That's so, so, doesn't really so probably 30 servings. So around 30 that's servings. What, that's what I would say. It's what I would assume. I feel like that's still probably smaller than the kitchen sink at Beach, uh, beach oh. Club. Can you imagine mm-hmm. a kitchen sink of Dippin' Dots? Yes, I can. Oh, I'm imagining it right now. Right, right, right here, right now. Let's go. It would just look like those, like, it, I mean, we just need to get those little tiny foam balls, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's true. And just... we, we need to get the foam balls from the bottom of the pit at Space Mountain. That's what we need. Those <gasps> that's what we need. Balls. We need those balls. Um, Quickly, ball speaking of sinks, and then I guess we should probably wrap up or whatever. We should probably wrap and up. Do, um, no, we got to go. We got to. We got to talk about our segment. tea or whatever. Um, yeah. speaking of sinks, have you seen this? Like, I don't even want to call it a trend. Let's call it an end. How about that? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> stupid. um, but there, there was like these videos going around of people making like punch in their sink in their kitchen. And then you would like dip the ladle no. into the, no, yes. No. In your no. dirty, Guys, I don't care. I don't care if I you don't scour care if you scour giving. It. No. It's giving sophomore theater party in college. Right. But even then, but we would even still then. go by the big bucket. blue bin bucket thing. You get your own uh-huh. bucket for the You get juice. a bucket. You ah. buy th- three. Fresh faces. That's what it was called. Fresh faces, yes. We, we buy three two liters of Mountain Dew. You get a, two big things of Hawaiian punch. And it's punch. a full. Yeah. And literally dump. just every And then you dump Everclear there. <laughs> Uh-huh. Everclear, gin, rum, literally yeah. everything. It's great. Jungle juice, baby. Yeah. Baby. No, okay. you don't you don't do not that. In the sink. Not, in the, not sink. in the sink. The sink is truly the most disgusting part of your home. I would yeah. eat out of the toilet before I ate out of a sink. I'm not even joking. It's so gross. No, you <laughs> Oh, okay. Well Mm-mm. and on that note, we're gonna go to the final segment of our new, our episodes we're about to go off go off go off in the group chat so if you're a fan of our previous iteration resident services we used to do a town hall it is the same spirit we are about to go you know how you know sometimes people just go off on the group chat it is just a sea of blue or no blue is a few mm. Just one-sided yeah. conversation because you just need to vent out. You just need to let someone have it. Have it. It's just got to go somewhere. It's just got to go somewhere. It's just got to go to the group chat. You, and if somebody answers, great. But most of the time, they do not. Most of the time, you know it's coming. It's just like, okay, they're just having a moment. I'm going to let this pass. You know, I'm going to let Miranda talk about the wings. And then... <laughs> Come in a little bit, you know, in a couple hours later. So, and usually me, it's me that that does that reply us, because yes. it because I can't. And what's I can't. the reply, Casey? What is it? L O L O O. It is L O L O L O M G. That is Casey's reply. Mine is mine is usually ba ha 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 ha. Um, we or we do uh we love a like to this. A react. Oh. oh, we love a react. I know people who hate a react. I don't like reacts. I don't like reacts when after I've gone off. You know what I mean? Oh, that's different. Uh-huh. That's different. You would never do that to a to a go off. But oh, I think no. they're very efficient in terms of like I understand. I think you. I, I, I got this. the information Red. in a oh, group chat yeah. where someone is is dropping dropping jokes. It's great to do a ha ha. What do you? Yeah. What would you say? Or to me my, when you what is my go to comment? You don't reply. So you, do, you do not reply. Mine not is reply. mine is that's wild. Actually, uh-huh. my, my so uh, listener of the show, Matt, my best friend Matt from high school, he told me that it's like RJ, you do this thing where you go, cool. I believe that's what I do in like live, like if I'm talking, uh, like he'll be like, cool, and 
he started doing it in person too because it's like I'm acknowledging what you said. I really didn't care. <laughs> but sure. apparently that's what I do. Cool. cool. I don't know if I've ever heard you say that. I guess I must it. just do it to You've to never him. said it to me. Yeah, yeah I've never heard that. That's kind of funny. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay, so Great. who wants to go off? Who's got something to go? The The group chat is yours to go off. You still do get one minute. It's still a minute rule. The rules of the group chat. The rules of the group chat. You the get rules one of the group minute chat. to spiral out. Um, yeah. I'll go. Okay, Miranda. It's time to go off. Oh, how does it, how do I do it? How do I go? Your time off? starts now. And your time oh, starts great. now. Okay. I have, let's talk about dry January. Okay. Um, I appreciate anybody who needs to take a time off from alcohol, but why do we have to make it such a big deal that it is dry January and it is incredibly strict. If you have to go to the internet and be like, oh, me and my partner gave up drinking. What do we even do? Um, maybe you need to take a step back and look inward if that's the question you're asking, because if alcohol is not involved, like what? And then we're not going to have a drink on Friday and be like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm doing damp January. Like, why do we have to make it a thing? Like, if you want to drink less, drink less. If you want to have a glass of wine on a Friday night, have a glass of wine on a Friday night. If you want to go and get blacked out, like, that's not, that's on you. Like, do it. Like, I don't understand why we have to make such a big deal. Um, but it is like the most frustrating time. And as somebody who like works as their job's mission is to support our restaurant industry, our restaurant industry suffers mm. in the month of January. Like it is awful. But I'm like, you could still go out to dinner and have a nice dinner and not have a, any alcohol. Like, I just don't understand why it's such a big deal. Okay. And that's one minute. Wow. 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 Adam, yeah. do you have any thoughts on dry yeah, Adam, January? Yeah, Adam, how's your dry Adam, January How's your quote going? unquote dry January? Which I My will say. at home dry January is going very well. <laughs> Thank you so much but, for asking but we were talking about that and like you can Which, go in the month with the girl i knew like, i'm not drinking every night because that's what we did in december and that's i get it i knew from the beginning that i was not going to be able to do a full dry january because i have to go to my team at work we have the like happy a happy hours. hour this month yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know I'm going to have to do one. So Drag I like, Race also just started, and we're watching it live on, at the bar. We're watching it at right. the bar. What am I going to do? What sure. am I going to do? Not support a bar? You just sit there for free TV. Yeah. Free Can I have a water? <laughs> but no, and I, but I understand, and I, it's just like, with the, these people who are like, oh, I bought a grand piano to teach myself how to play piano because I gave up drinking. I'm like, what? Yes, it's always that's the thing with resolutions. It's like it's always a big grand gesture that it's supposed to yeah. be like this big thing is going to like set the course yes. for me. Soda. Club soda and lime is but my go to. It's not about like make doing something big. It's about like small changes. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's about just, consistency. It's, it's yeah. these people who like yeah, the resolutions get a little out of control. Like mm -hmm. if you I don't, I don't like to get into the topic of alcohol because I know it can be iffy or whatever, yes, but yeah, absolutely. it was just the whole, it's the, re the resolution aspect yes, of it, not anything else. Exactly. Like, it's yeah. like, obviously, yes. If you have reasons that you want to be sober, that's amazing. But it's like, absolutely. It's the, yeah. This is not that it's the resolution part of it. It's like a big, it's the gesture. alcohol it's version the... of whole 30. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Like everybody doing like... whole 30 in January. Like, Ooh. I know a couple of people in the chat doing it. Ooh, uh, that's, well, they have I, done it too. Yeah. I've done it too. We did and it for the, the whole like the binge. You binge before, yes, and then so it's like, what are you doing, Mama? Yeah. Like you know, it's the kids' New Year's Eve. I'm gonna give up soda this year, and it's like five, four, <laughs> three, and you're just chugging. I will say up. the only times a resolution has stuck was like legit in high school. I really didn't drink soda. I, I mean, I did drink like iced tea, like Arizona iced teas, but that's not soda. No, that's not I soda. I stopped drinking soda. Does it have more sugar? Yes, and it, I, I genuinely don't drink soda anymore, <laughs> but I'm about to go off. <laughs> RJ, oh, it's time, time to go, go off. off. Time to go off. Your time starts now. Okay, RJ, yes, you made a resolution back in high school when you were, your mind was still developing of not <laughs> drinking soda. Why? Why are you suffering? I literally told Adam when I got McDonald's <laughs> Saturday, I was like, Adam, I think I'm going to be a Coke Zero Sugar girl because it tastes good. What do you want me to do? C Coke tastes good. And if it's the sugar, fine. I'll drink it without the sugar. But it's Miss Coke tastes good. Okay. 
having a, a hot fry, a hot salty fry. Oh, a, a hot salty we fry. We are going out to McDonald's right now. That after needs this. to be washed down by a cold oh cup of. God. Okay, at McDonald's it is Diet Coke, which is fine. But I think after analyzing it, I think Coke sh- oh. Coke Zero Sugar is going to be my thing. Pepsi Zero Sugar also pretty good. That's what I had to talk about last night, and it was pretty good after a hot chalupa. Okay, that was one minute. Wow. Why? Why wow. did? Who cares? Who cares? Who, who cares? Cares. <laughs> and also the idea. I love the idea that you're like it tastes good, as if the argument has ever been. It, pop it, is bad. <laughs> pop tastes pop bad, tastes and that's bad. why it's very popular. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Flop. I mean, like Adam famously doesn't like the taste of aspartame, but I can't have enough what? of it. I think that's I oh pre- yeah. Well, I prefer the t- what? <laughs> Shut up. up. I wouldn't Shut say up. if I am if I am forced into a situation, I would not be. If there was like if I have a choice, I'm always probably gonna choose the Coke. But there are. I don't even know if I can say that because there have been times at work where I've been like, I'll just have a diet today, and I don't mind it. God, I loved. It. See, that's I've always preferred the taste of Diet Coke over regular Coke. Like it's never been like a, oh, mm. this has sugar and calories. It's always like I prefer the taste of Diet Dr Pepper over regular Dr Pepper. And mm. I don't know. What I, it was, is. I was I was for f- Dr Pepper specifically. I do like Diet Dr Pepper mm. better than regular. Experience. I was a full fat, full sugar <laughs> Coke and Dr Pepper girl until like 2012. Really? Wow. Yeah. Why did you make because, the switch? Because I was losing weight. I was oh. on. I was like, she this was will cut paid. out. This will cut out like two to four hundred calories yeah. in my day if I just switch to this diet coke. And it took me a minute to really because I was like, this is just yeah, not and you know. You and now if I if they if so I'm with someone and we order a coke and a diet coke. If I sip that coke, I'm like, oh. Nope. I'm, yeah. This is, no, I mean, unless unless you're doing the um, blind challenge, then you're like, oh, unless I'm doing not this blind. Pepsi, yeah. not this Pepsi. Even like, I mean, like I, when when sparkling water popped off, like that's mm-hmm. I, I didn't like Lacroix back in college, but like in in Florida, I was like, give me a pump mousse right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like so refreshing. Something that broke every time, in our brains. Yeah. Uh, collectively as like an american a, culture yeah. everyone was like seltzer yeah she's yeah. the but girl but as soon as that like when we were in our seltzer like peak anytime oh, i would take Florida, a y'all were oh yeah anytime seltzer. i took a sip of pop i would be like <laughs> truly there was like probably six months to a year where i was like this is so sweet yeah meanwhile for lunch i would go and get out of the coke free style machine i would do Half sweet iced tea, half peach flavored full Minute Maid lemonade. And I would be like, this isn't sweet at all. Out of my mind. What what would you what would you call that? Diabetical. Diabetic. Like it's not Arnold Palmer because you've got pink lemonade, so maybe like Oh no, I it wasn't it was yellow lemonade, but it was peach flavored. That's Marnie Palmer. Yeah. I still, I mean, I still like a seltzer. I, I, I still really love Spindrift. I just, I yeah. love oh, the yeah, tart. I love, I love the tart. But I think like my new Coke thing, it's I'm going to serve it as a treat. The like, I'm going to treat myself to, to Coke. Yeah. 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 If I buy Coke, it'll be the little mini cans, I think. Get, yeah, the little cans. Because that's really that's all you need. That's all you need. That's you need. Just a little pick me up. Just a little pick me up, yeah. Okay. So yes, if you do whole thirty, okay. I'll turn you on to Casey's results. ready. Speak- sure. Casey, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've to- got me fired up. It's time to gore orf, <laughs> and your time starts now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you cannot tell me that in 2023 we still have movie theaters that have decided to go with Pepsi. If I walk into a Regal Cinema theater and I walk up to that. Um, to the counter to the snack counter to get a drink i'm about to be in your theater for at least two hours i need a big old diet coke or a big old diet of pepper you cannot say is pepsi okay because it's It's not not. (laughs) it's not did y'all miss 
the you know at the amc where they are just proudly promoting that coca-cola dropping the ice oh the ice that, that trailer the yes. t- yeah, you can't tell me that someone feels that way about Pepsi to want to sit in a Absolutely theater. Absolutely not. Hours. 100%. Absolutely not. 100%. I know you're saving money with this. I know it. But just how many times does someone walk in with the dis- and then the disappointment on their face when they see the Pepsi? That's one minute. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, speaking a of regal truth. cinema. A regal cinema. And what's like, regal I- about a Pepsi? <laughs> Tell me that. What's yeah. royal about no, Pepsi no, no. besides the it's color? How dare you? Movie theaters anymore. Britney it Spears is like restaurants. Britney Spears fought as a gladiator for the honor of Pepsi. Okay. And then one of the Jenners took it over, yeah. and, and here just, we are. And solved the world's ills. Yeah, no, I feel like there are more restaurants than not more local-owned sports bars in Des Moines a, that serve Pepsi. Pepsi. It is yeah. just, oh, it's a deal breaker. It's just such a... Is B-Dubs B- is Pepsi? B-Dubs is Coke? B-Dubs is Pepsi. B-Dubs is Pepsi, oh. yeah. So yeah, they're like... I'm like, do you have Diet Coke? They're like, Diet Pepsi. I was like, oh, no, I'll take a Mick Ultra. Like, <laughs> I guess I'll drink beer today. <laughs> I guess I'll have beer. I'll just take a shot of tequila then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sip on that for a while. Because <laughs> it's like, especially at a place like B-Dubs, where it's like, oh, so I can't get, you know, like a, a Jack and Coke. You got to get a Jack and Pep. Yeah. Hello? No. Also, Hello? do you find, do you find that Pepsi... This is insane. Do you find that Pepsi almost always is like, it's almost flat? Like you're yeah. like, yes, it's, yes, yes, yes. That is the problem. Yeah, it always tastes flat. And I'm like, what? Where's the, what? It's, this is heavy syrup because flat pop sucks because it's like, oh, I can taste the fact that I'm drinking like molasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And don't forget that Costco is Pepsi. Yeah. And the only Ugh. reason they get a pass is because the drink is like 49 cents. Absolutely. Right. Well, and their whole and thing is they got to keep it cheap. They're no, doing it for you. Their thing cheap. is like, yeah. if you have to drink a Pepsi, don't worry. We'll give you a hot dog on the side. We'll basically <laughs> give you a free hot dog. <laughs> We're basically exactly. giving you a free hot dog. Um, Laura's asking, isn't the Midwest all about Pepsi, though? Not my Midwest. <laughs> I, no, I've, never, I've never heard that. My whole family likes Pepsi. Yeah, Adam's whole family likes Pepsi. Me- Pepsi generally is a northern thing more than a southern thing mm-hmm. so i would get i would southern say is, that for yeah. sure southern is coca-cola and dr pepper <laughs> not my and, midwest <laughs> and yeah, the, the costco pepsi is not right and i will say though sometimes at the so the costco usually has three separate um fountains Mm -hmm. and sometimes if you get a bad pepsi in one just go over to the one on the other side and the pepsi is better than that one Mm. i usually do my diet pepsi and then i do my little splash pepsi to get a little bit a little bit of something something, 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 something. i want to say one thing about pepsi before we move on to to mine i i really don't like the shape of pepsi bottles and i really hate the Mm. way their cap is like very short just a a little nub of a a cap (laughs) yeah so weird to me i don't like it um but if i go if i go to taco bell and so i know they have pepsi i am like prepared mentally to be like okay i can have a pepsi with taco bell because i know that that's what they serve yes so it's, it's the surprise that you're it's like when you're going somewhere and you expect coke and they say oh no 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 mm-hmm. we want to keep it cheap here mama yeah, yeah. You say, oh jessica I'm... jessica mexican yes mexico coca-cola goes oh. way back the philippines is the same way we used to like the glass bottles like it is yeah well you've heard the you've heard the conspiracy theory no <clears throat> no the so new coke back in the 80s when oh. they did new coke that was actually them like reverting re- switching out the formula from sugar coke to high fructose corn syrup coke oh, that's what man. they used it to be like oh we thought this would work and it didn't so we'll go back it, to the original formula and then they didn't is glass bottled coke like sugar cane sugar yes, yes. right it's yeah. mm-hmm. so that's 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 and like whenever you order it in austin mm-hmm. you say i'll take a mexican coke I think free lack, the thing free lack, the free lack. What a great bottle. segue! Oh what an incredible segue, free lack. Adam, yes, there's a question on the chat. Yes, go off. Your time starts now. Panera, what 
are you doing with these charged lemonades? What is, what, how is this legal? How is, okay, so if you have not been to Panera or you have not seen the viral TikTok about the charged lemonade from Panera, if you go to Panera, uh, you can get, and you sit in the restaurant, you can get a large charged lemonade and then keep refilling it as long as you're sitting in the Panera. That's the perk of Panera. That's why it's a, that's why it's $12 to have a cup of soup. Here's the thing. A charged lemonade, there are 390 milligrams of caffeine in a large charged lemonade. A normal cup of coffee is like 80 milligrams. What are we doing? So I did the, I had to, I had to know, I had to understand what the deal was. So at 7 PM (laughs) on Saturday, (laughs) I drank. Now I did not do it very quickly. I did purposely space it out over a few hours. You did like thirds. I would say I did it in thirds. I had a full, full 390 milligram lemonade from Panera. (laughs) I felt like the time that I accidentally used two scoops of pre-workout in my water. He kept bringing that up. He was like, I thought it was two scoops of pre-workout. I could could hear my heart. And it was like, why, why, why? (laughs) So I don't know how it's legal. I don't know how they're getting away with it. Um, It, I kind of think it's funny that they're getting away with it. But it is absolutely not. And like fully market, like fully. It is. It says. It says right there. They have big flyers and posters. Yeah, I did. I did think that I could have like written a novel while I was like in the middle of it. I was like, oh, I bet I could get a real good script. Adam out of this. was very close to like fully writing an entire Netflix series. Like I, this like, close, guys. <laughs> was sort of like, give me a. Give me, yeah. Honey, you you liked Wednesday. I'll give you Thursday through Sunday, honey. <laughs> no, and that's one minute. So I think the like thing three. that threw me off the most was we received this video, and I was like, "It is not nighttime right now. You are not that dumb yeah. to have it at nighttime." And you I were, took a melatonin. and you, you got are a large. That's the thing. You took a melatonin yeah, you took after a melatonin. you drank this charged you lemonade. Counter it. Counter I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can yes. no longer help you, <laughs> I, Adam. Literally I, when I woke up on Sunday, I looked at him and he was like, wow, I feel tired now. I'm like, yeah, now that it's 9 a.m. on my, a Sunday. <laughs> I drink Celsius and I'll drink Alani energy drinks. Mm-hmm. And I believe both of them have 200 milligrams of coffee. But I do not drink the full thing. Like I oh. will drink maybe a couple sips as like a pre-workout situation yeah, same. or if I need like a pickup in the middle of the I do, afternoon. I prefer Celsius now that I've had both Celsius. I do. Lo- I, I think I like Celsius more. I, I like both. I'll, I'll interchange them both. Um, uh, listen, I'm, I've been known famously to make bad decisions, <laughs> to drink a sugar-free monster. In fact, it's oh my, my favorite flavor of monster. That's Adam's like, it's the, it's the straightest thing I do, probably. Yeah. 80, maybe 120. Right. I think it's 120. Not 390. 390 is Not, wild. 390 is, you. if you have any sort of heart problem, you are going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, we learned I don't have That's a good one. way to test. Yeah. 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 So did you, did, check you your, pre- did you check your heart rate on your Apple Watch at any point during that? No. It, no. it would have well, been. Was I it sh- like, I you're working my, out right now? I should have my, like, history. Let me oh see. yeah well drop that in the discord when you find yeah. it wow but wow and we have been talking we have time. been talking for an hour and 37 minutes on the new pod don't worry because we do speed it up on the podcast so <laughs> it saves a couple minutes but i'm very excited to say that yes the podcast is live now on all of the podcast apps all platforms all platforms woot, woot. so you can leave a rating or a review and lucky us we have our first review of the podcast oh. yes oh my god so we have this a review so we have a review from a listener named casey and the bear i once heard of her mm. before i think she's who is to a she of, yes sounds like a big fan <laughs> a huge fan <laughs> Um, they wrote Team Casey exclamation point. Oh, she must be a child then. Yeah. Um, probably. Uh, Casey and the Bear writes, We love a rebrand. Excited to continue listening, smiley f- emoticon. Also, I'm not sure what my name on Apple Podcasts is, but I'm sure it's embarrassing. And it is because Casey it and is. the Bear is dead. Outed. <laughs> 
Wow. Who is Casey? But yes, yeah, so you, you can leave ratings and reviews on Apple Podcasts. You can leave ratings on Spotify. <gasps> oh, you can, shoot. You can join the Discord server. We have stickers. We have That's stickers. What I was going to show stickers. them. They're we downstairs. have stickers. So we'll, you They're know. They're so cute. Respod rules applies. So if you write a review, let us know. DM us. Put it on the Discord. Put it on the group chat on Facebook. Let us know, and we will send you a sticker. So we'll send you this beautiful. Look at that. Yes. And so, um, also, I I did say beautiful. that this was going to stream on YouTube. I did not plan ahead. I didn't realize that it was. I had more tech to fix. So, excuse me. Sorry. So oh, we'll just. God. Ah. <laughs> We'll just upload this episode on YouTube for now until we figure out how to live the stream so you can watch it. It looks normal. Your heart rate. (laughs) Your heart rate? It seems fine. My my high the highest my heart rate was on Saturday was like at three PM. And then it all went downhill from there. (laughs) What is your average heart rate? Just just It was eighty nine is what my thing said. And please right. tell us, like, with this rebrand, like, we're okay. posting okay. new stuff on Instagram. <laughs> we're, you know, we're following so many brands on Instagram. So we're always in the know what's new at Costco. You know, what's mm-hmm. new at Drag Race? What's new at the Disney parks? So if there's ever any other topic that you want us to, to bring forth to the table, bring it up in the group chat. We yeah, have ask a, us mm-hmm. questions. Ask us questions. We have a very... Want to know our opinions? Yeah. We got them. Yeah, because bring it up on. Trust me, we're we all have, on Discord. All on Discord. Um, so we're very excited. Thank you, everyone, so much for listening to our inaugural uh, episode of. Did you read the group chat? Inaugural. Um, that's it. I did not. I don't have a closer for the show, Uh-oh. so we don't know what it is yet. So always be closing, you know. ABC, always be closing. I guess we can Let's sing. silence those notifications. Yeah, and go to bed. Let's go to bed. Uh, focus yeah, time I sleep. Will. Thanks for listening. My sleep would be on right now. Go have a charged nice. lemonade. Go before have a charged you go lemonade before you go to uh-huh. bed. Thank Sounds you, great. everyone, and bye. 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 <laughs>